Well, the biggest way patients contract mesothelioma is by asbestos exposure. That's why in the United States you'll see these big signs that say asbestos abatement, danger, danger, because we know that asbestosis not only causes mesothelioma but lung cancer. There's the TNM staging system. T stands for tumor and the tumor usually starts on the outer lining of the lung, then it goes to the inner lining of the lung, then it, it starts to invade the lung itself, the diaphragm, the covering of the heart, the pericardium. Then uh, it starts to go to the lymph nodes, the lymph nodes that are close to the tumor, then the lymph nodes that are farther away from the tumor. Stage one mesothelioma means that it's in its earlier stages, and usually those patients respond better to treatment. Stage four means it's in, it's in its advanced stages and they don't respond as nicely to treatment. There are three types of mesothelioma. You have epithelioid mesothelioma, sarcomatoid mesothelioma, and biphasic or mixed mesothelioma. The epithelioid have the best, sarcomatoid have the worst, and the mixed are somewhere in between. And that's probably the single biggest predictor of survival. Uh, lymph node involvement, uh, lymph nodes involved were survival um, and surgery as well so what we have found are the long-term survivors are those that have undergone some type of surgery whether it is extrapleural pneumonectomy, pleurectomy decortication or even talc pleuridesis but those who have not undergone any type of surgical treatment uh, you really don't see those patients with prolonged survival. Mesothelioma stimulates a lot of controversy um, if you look on the web for mesothelioma, the first hundred things that pop up are lawyers. Uh, so there are a lot of other people that are interested in mesothelioma and that can influence the type of treatment that you get. Uh, we try to treat mesothelioma here with the patient's best interest at heart, as I'm sure everybody else does. Uh, but basically, um, for mesothelioma, uh, there's a lot of controversy out there. Some people feel you should never treat mesothelioma. Some people feel you need to treat mesothelioma very aggressively. What we do here at Sinai is we tailor the treatment to the particular patient. So if you have a 35-year-old woman who's newly married, who just had a stage 2 mesothelioma pay, uh, diagnosis, she'd be ver treated very differently from an 80-year-old male who's stuck in a wheelchair who has stage 2 mesothelioma. So you need to treat the patient and not just the stage of the disease. Here at Sinai, what we try to do is to focus in on sparing the lungs. So if there is a chance to spare that person's lung and do something called a, a pleurectomy decortication, that's what we attempt to do. Now, you never know what you're going to find until you get in there at the time of surgery. And at the time of surgery, we will do whatever we need to do to spare that lung. However, there are cases where the lung is so far gone where they're not getting any function from that lung. And in those particular cases, when necessary, we will do an extra pleural pneumonectomy. However, we don't just go in there with the intention of doing an extra pleural pneumonectomy uh, for the sake of, quote, being aggressive. Now, once we remove it, theoretically, there's going to be microscopic tumor left behind. And that's where the radiation treatment comes into play. Uh, Ken Rosenzweig, who is here at, at Mount Sinai, I've worked with for about 10 years, and he has really been a pioneer in figuring out the type of radiation to treat these patients with, complementing what we're doing in surgery. So there's a good team effort between myself and Ken Rosenzweig here. And in addition, the chemotherapy uh, that's being given for mesothelioma has recently just become accepted approximately about four or five years ago once it was presented at the American Society of Clinical Oncology. And that's pretty standard throughout the United States. It's a lymta and cisplatin. So when you combine surgery with the newer uh, results of the chemotherapy and what Dr. Rosenzweig has found out in treating this disease, we feel that we give you the best possible shot here at Sinai.